I give it about two more minutes before I get too hot and put my hair up. I am a few weeks late on Oink Box this month. I think Oink Box Day was, yeah, technically several weeks ago, but um, you know, better late than never. And I've been dying to open the things inside this box. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, and I've already taken a peek at what is coming in the next box and I'm so excited for that one and it's already shipped because I am so behind. So that should be here any day. Uh, Oink Box is a subscription box, a monthly subscription box for pigs and pig owners. Little backstory, if you haven't watched all of my other Oink Box videos, I saw an advertisement for a dog monthly subscription box and was like, hey, they have subscription boxes for everything now. And I wonder if anybody has come out with a pig one yet. And sure enough, I found this. I'd never heard of it before that. I was really excited uh, and after trying it out, loved it. So I reached out to them. They do not sponsor me in any way. So yes, this is just a product that I personally love and my pigs enjoy. And they were so gracious and offered all of you yeah the discount code so that will be in the description below they also do a lot of awesome um, campaigns and fundraisers to help support pig rescues um, and then they just provide a lot of great information for pig owners so really good company yep i'm already super super warm i'm doing this video from the pig pen uh, it's been a while since we've been out here. I think the last time was when I wore an inflatable pig suit. Definitely my proudest moment on the internet. Please don't go looking for that video. If you haven't seen it, I would like it to remain buried in the depths of my channel. So I probably shouldn't even talk about it. It's been a while since you've seen the pig pen pigs. Uh, these are predominantly pigs that I took in as rescues as adults. They have all different backgrounds. There were some that were uh, completely emaciated and just in terrible condition when I took them in. Um, some required extensive vet care, some required round the clock uh, me force feeding them because they were so weak or so old or so neglected or whatever. Um, some were running wild and I spent hours and hours trying to capture them before hunters shot them. Uh, a few were going to be eaten, <laughs> um, so I went and got them. So there's all kinds of stories, uh, but one thing most of them have in common is that they don't trust or enjoy people too much. Uh, they know me very well now. I've had them for years and years and years. Some of them were going on, what, six or seven years together now? Um, so they know me and moderately trust me, but like don't really like me to pet them or anything like that, and that's okay. So we'll see how many of them will come up to me. There are lots of treats in this box, of course, as always, so hopefully that will entice them. I know a few for sure, even without treats, will come up and love me because I have had them longer and raised them. I'm putting my hair up, and then we're going in the pen. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna sit right down in the dirt and get dirty. Because, you know, when you're in a pig pen, uh, and already the two that I knew would be all about it. Fern, we got, ah, hey! And then Fran, who already knows what this box is very well. And Fran is, I don't even know, five? <laughs> Ow! Six, five, four. I'm really bad at keeping track. Girls, you need to be patient. I wish that there was somewhere I could set this camera. Hi, they're getting impatient. What y'all doing? Well, you can't really see me though. You're kind of low. If I just bend, professional quality as always. You've come to expect it. There's also dirt on my camera lens now. Just ignore this. Oh geez, I think I'm making it worse. I'm just smearing it. Ugh. Hot mess. Fran is rolling in the mud puddle. I make them a mud puddle every day um, and really nice. Now she's gonna come over here with her super muddy face. Oh gosh, why? And I was gonna film another video after this. No, no, so much mud, ew. Okay, let's um, throw some peach cobbler treats. These are the piggy -o treats. Okay, ah! Oh no, there's mud everywhere, go. Ew, I'm gonna go over everything that's in here individually and get it up, no, to safety. Hi, dirty, doing pig stuff. Hi. Okay, 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 ah, no. I am so dirty now, wow. 
Hey lady. She's one of my more scared pigs, which is kind of funny because she's also one I've had the longest. Her and her sister, which is the one going over there right now, are two of my oldest. Uh, the boy is actually the oldest oldest, but he doesn't really come around here much. Huh. You're not a fan of us. Boop. This one's Rhonda. I love you though, but you are a fighter. Now that they're all here and ready to attack me, uh, we have peanut butter and jelly piggy treats. This is, I am just sorry, this is horrible. The whole box is dirty. <laughs> <laughs> peanut butter and jelly now these oink box has their own line of food and treats uh which are really awesome this is part of it so peanut butter oat flour chia seeds and blueberries very simple healthy ingredients let's see if the pigs like them because you know there's a chance they won't in theory a person could eat them i should just take a bite for a video it's content i'm not doing that there's the old man. Old, old dude. So that's all of them. Dirty. Oh, uh, they have an Instagram account too. I just saw that I meant to look at. Um, where they talk about how their treats are good for like everyone, including even people. And it's true. You see all these animals? They are not lying. You can give these to basically anything. And so you can go to epicanimaltreats.com and order some of these or just uh, sign up for Ink Box and get this little sampling every time, pretty much. All right, can I help you? Hmm? I can't wait for this last part. Stay tuned for the finale. It's the most exciting thing ever. Boop, doop, doop. This girl has blue eyes. This pet stages, it is the cutest toy, especially for pigs. It's a carrot uh, and you stuff it with Carrots, like little baby carrots. I don't know why you'd want to look at me right now. I am a sweaty monster, but uh, I love all these treat dispensing toys. They are fantastic for pigs. Pigs are very smart. They get bored very easy and they're very food motivated. So uh, if you can just keep a whole assortment of these that all work a little differently, look a little differently, simulate the brains a little differently, it's fantastic. Every day you can switch them out, um, different treats, different ways that they have to figure out how to get them out. And uh, feeding treats and meals and things like that in these sort of things uh, also keeps the pig active and moving, which is great. So I'm not gonna obviously use it right now because they would all fight over it. We will use it later. Oh, geez, oh, Pete. Look at this. Guys, this is why we can't have nice things because, you know, empty and fill the pool. Are you enjoying your pool of what's supposed to be clean drinking water and is now just muddy pig water? Is that making you happy? Jeez, oh, Pete's. Get dirty. Actually, I mean, to be honest, I'm a little jealous because that looks nice and cool. Excuse you, don't bump me. Here's the fun, fun, fun part that I am so excited for. <gasps> Incredible bubbles. <laughs> They're non-toxic, they're peach flavored, they're safe for kids and animals and for YouTubers like me that are totally gonna try to eat a bubble. <laughs> and apparently, um, if I do this right, they should not pop easily, but we'll see. Oh yeah, this is weird. It's like thick bubbles. And so it's, oh, oh, I'm getting it everywhere. I'm already doing so bad at this. You're supposed to like, mm, Mm, I'm doing really bad. I think they're supposed to get bigger than that. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Go oh, fern in the tub. The wind is taking them out of here. So they really don't pop. Can you see them even though? It's too dirty out here. Huh? You smell them? Yeah, what are those? Eat it. Oh, you popped it. <laughs> I wonder if they smell. Oh, Fern, you're knocking me around. Rude. Taste them, somebody eat them. I'm gonna eat them, aren't I? Oh geez, I'm getting bubble stuff all over me. What do you think? Do you smell the bubbles? Look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. They really don't pop. They're like sticking everywhere. 
Oh, well, you know. Pigs are definitely interested in going up and like smelling them. Of course, then they pop them with their snouts, but okay. I want to try to eat one. My hands are so clean right now. If you're a germaphobe, this is like torture, I imagine. It's so classy, whatever. Um, that I didn't catch a single one. Wow. Here's one. I just want to put you in my mouth. Oh, you popped. Ew, but it sort of looks sticky. Ah! Ah! <laughs> this is the dirtiest vi- Okay, this is like the filth- This is the most dirt-filled video. So, I just need a little one. Like, I don't wanna take a big bite. Here we go. My finger is dirty. I didn't really taste anything. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. It tastes like soap. I'm having flashbacks to when I was a child. <laughs> that tastes like soap. Um, does it smell though? Cause they definitely liked it. They were chasing it. Maybe they're just interested. Oh, it smells just like peach though. Okay, well don't eat it guys, it's lying to you. You guys are smarter than I am because none of you actually ate the bubble soap. You just smelled it and popped it, so. <sighs> this was a lesson in pig intelligence and how being smarter than your pig is really um, necessary for successful pig ownership. Today, I was dumber than the pigs. Well, <laughs> the bubbles were fun, but not quite what they definitely preferred the treats that's all they want they would just take a box full of treats um we're gonna go take the carrot though and put a couple treats in it and let the pigs play with it very pale chicken legs but um this is the aftermath of being in the pig pen so people are like you never show your pig pen pigs well <laughs> i'm out with them every day but it just um you know it's kind of chaos when you're trying to film so Oinkbox always puts um, kind of an educational pamphlet in their boxes. Uh, so this one just talks about the edible bubbles. Oh, it tells you exactly what to, it tells you exactly what to do. Add water to dilute them. Shake up or use wand to stir. Before blowing, take the wand out and let your pigs smell it so they become familiar. Test the bubble solution, see if the bubbles are diluted enough to go through the wand. Blow bubbles around your pig outside. Our pig's like going around popping them. Well, they did do that, but um. So, read the pamphlet before you use the items in the box and it will go much better. What are you doing, girls? I loaded the carrot and um, I think I probably put too many carrots in it. I don't really know if you're supposed to put one like in every single slot or if you're just supposed to like slide them through, but I put a carrot everywhere. So we are gonna give this to the animals. What, do your dogs want some carrots? Carrots make really good snacks for a lot of different animals. Oh, oh. <laughs> get it, Rory. Rory, get the carrot. Yeah, you guys can share, there's lots, or not. There's lots of carrots. I think there's probably enough for everyone. Right, Rory? Yeah. So yes, carrots are a great treat for dogs also. <laughs> yes, so cute. Somebody pulled your collar loose again. Every day, I wonder who. I wonder who keeps pulling Big Sister Rory's collar loose. It wouldn't be you, Lou, would it? No way. Like a dirty leg. <laughs> Don't, oh, ah, no, thank you. I'll clean myself. Thank you very much though. Oh, you got it out. Good girl, Rory. Haven't really introduced these guys yet. What do you think? Haven't really, haven't at all introduced these bunnies that are living in my bedroom. Well, in my guest bedroom. It's a great toy for bunnies too. I wouldn't leave it with them because they might end up chewing the actual toy carrot, but a carrot dispenser.
Last but not least, someone specifically asked for Scarlet. What do you think? Rory, a loon. Pretty good stuff, huh, Starlet? Oh, you got it out. Wow. Oh, you're just being crazy behind the camera. You can't see her. She's jumping all over my face. Oh, a good girl. Yeah, baby. She is almost two. She has a birthday coming soon. Crunch and crunch and crunch. <coughs> what? <coughs> what? You don't want the carrot? I saw the oink box. Where's the epic treats? Where's the piggyos? Sorry, I gave them all away. <laughs> Carrots are good for you. Look at that happy tail. Okay, that is the wink box opening for this week. Um, I think my next video is going to... I have, as always, lots and lots and lots of unanswered pig questions in my Instagram DM. Um, so, if you have asked a question there and I've not answered it, um, be sure to be on the lookout for my next video because I'm going to be sitting down and going through them and reading them, which is something I feel like I should just start doing in videos every couple months. Um, yeah, I don't know about eating in bed and making crumbs in the bed, everyone. <laughs> Message received, Rory, huh? You took it into here instead? Good girl. Okay, well I was gonna give those to the other pigs, but um, I'm gonna have to just bring up more because these two are really enjoying the carrots.